Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Lynn's Homestead. Well, I got to make another modification to the back of the tractor. These uh, gussets that's on my tiller, they're still in the way. But they're there for a reason. But doesn't mean I can't take more meat off my Pat's Easy Hitch. Let me show you what I'm doing. The rubbing. They're getting caught right here because there's not enough room in between. So, what I'm doing, so I'm taking my grinder. Now, at first, I did it like this. But where it's the problem is not, it's, it's from here, almost down to here. So, I've been working on the uh, left side here. You see what this looks like. Well, this is what I've done so far. I'm grinding. Ooh, that's hot. Uh, I'm grinding it down quite a bit. I'm going from here all the way down to here. And I'm trying to round this thing off to make this a little thinner. So hopefully when I drag that um, tiller over here, I'm going to be putting it on a new cart that I made. So I'm trying to make, you see how skinny this thing is here compared to this. That's right, I am thinning it out considerably. Now there's enough meat on there that's not going to lose the integrity or the strength of this hitch system. So we'll be back later when I get more done. Okay, this side looks pretty good. This side looks a lot better than it did. So I'm going to drag the tiller over and see how hard it is to get it on. This is where having a two-ton jack half. Like I say, my cart broke. So you gotta really think, how are you gonna get this thing on? All right, five foot by 30 inches. Six wheels, bigger deck. Let's see how well it goes on. As you can see, with the four legs, it gives me a greater support. So that way I can get the feet or the slide to sit in the middle of the platform. Just like that. Now try not to use the landing gear, that seems to complicate things. So now, see the clearance I have there. I got a lot more clearance on this side. So, let's see. Lowering this thing down. You got clearance there. Boy, it's hot out here. I'm going to get ready to undo all this and see how it looks when we get it off. It will tilt, twit, um, it will tilt forward. Now, I know i got to take more meat off this one. It's still too thick. I got that one thinned out over here. See how thin that is? I need to do the same thing with this. See, that's kind of tapered, whereas I got that one almost straight. I got a lot of grinding to do. But other than that, the trick that I'm finding to be, take those pins off. That way, to get it on and off, you're not struggling with it. Every new tool, as you uh, use it, learn it, you'll find better ways and you see how I got with the boards? It just it just fits this one better. The other one was too small, because I thought four foot tiller it would be four foot. But this fits this fits on the cart a whole lot better. So I at least wanted to get it on the new cart, and then I'm going to shove it over in the corner. 